Hey guys, it's J5518 here. Today I'm going to do not one, but two, two Sailor Moon episodes. And I drew for that. And Tuxedo Man, Takishino Kamen, Takishino Masuko. Let's start with number five real quick, shall we? Story starts with Usagi one day, you know, waking up late as usual, heading to school one day. Before she's hit by a car, she's hit by a girl wearing a Utah, tall, muscular girl wearing a school uniform. It was revealed to be named the professor teacher. I mean, she's referred to as the student name Makoto Kino. Although she also is known from students to be very scary. Not scary looking, but known by students in her class to have superhuman strength whenever they approach her. Apparently later in the series, later in this episode, Usagi will be friends her and makes her be open as a best friend. It will be known for the series. Later on also, as of that, doing to a bridal shop. All of them want to become married and dream about, you know, getting married with the man she loves. Apparently also, the Queen Burrow and her dark crystal kingdom and leaders are all back to their weird shenanigans again. And they try to use a possessed mannequin to capture the grooms and kidnap them for their evil deeds. At the same time, Usagi and Usagi-chan and the other girls are always advertised to become bridesmaids. To look beautiful. What do I think of this episode? Very good. I didn't see no flaws with it. I like Makoto as a character. And I remember one person asked me if I had to choose which Sailor Sky, I'd say, if I had to, someone asked me in the last q and I had to mention this for this review, because I knew I'd have to mention it again. I would choose Jupiter and Mars, personally. If I had to choose. I mean, I'm not a big fan of this, but I like new stuff. I'll choose those two. Sorry I didn't get that question out, but in case you guys were going to ask me that in the comments after this is filmed, I had to get that out. It was good to see Makoto come in and become Senator Jupiter, use her thunder powers, and zap. I mean, there's the thunder shock. You know, an actual monster. It was very nice. The visual was beautiful. The music, stunning. The characters are likable. It's, I think we're starting to see the pieces of the Sailor Scout team come together. It's nice that they're connecting. Obviously, since they're all episodes of the same, kind of the same series, they're all connecting together to a future event or a big event. I, can just, I can't sense what it is. But I know it's just right in the distance. It's like, it's like saying J5, it's right over there. You just got to get to it. It's a great episode. I like Makoto as a character. Her being one of the tallest of the scouts kind of is interesting. Not just the style, the size. She's very tall and strong. And it would be interesting to see her beat up someone, but, you know, she's kind of hard. And I liked her backstory a little bit, how she used to be in love, but she was betrayed by a man. But you find out that Nephrite um, actually betrayed her as you find out that the little history between them. Um, um, Jupiter and Nephrite, the story that she used to be in love with this boy, and he tried to like her, but he ran away from being with her, and it's kind of sad, you know, you feel bad for her. Even though to see her kick some ass and to show off her thunder power, even her flower hurricane, I mean, all those panels, it was like, I feel like if I was in the middle of that, I'd touch that, I'd be scarred, I mean, look, it almost, it tore off his suit, I mean, it tore his suit, I thought it would, touch, you know, skin him, but I guess that's how power it is. My thoughts on episode 5? Five? 5 out of 5. I loved it. Let's get into episode 6. Tuxedo Mask, or in Japanese, is translated into Takashiro Kamen. Takashiro Masuko. This story involves around kind of the interesting, not so origin, but getting to uh, Mamoru. The real character's name is uh, known as Mamoru Chiba, also known as Tuxedo Mask, or Darien, if you don't know. So, yeah, it starts with Tuxedo Mask playing the whole somewhat Batman-esque thing of luring the media, that he has committed crimes in order to search for the legendary Silver Crystal. If y'all know what that is, you already know. I'm going to explain that. Apparently to get the people's attention to find it out and try to get it for himself. Also, the Sailor Scouts, when she finds the Guardians, after the Sailor Scouts find out what this is, Sandra Moon thinks that the Cecil Mask is not a villain. Even though Luna has her, her, you know, her suspicion that this guy could be a villain. Now, what did I think of this episode? Again, same as last one. Loved it. Um, we don't really know why he wants... I like the whole idea of, you know, Justino Mask. Not just being the whole Zoro kind of guy. I like how he has some darkness to him. And kind of this hidden mystery. Like, who is this guy? Why is he after this legendary Super Crystal? We'll find out. Crystal Moon. Why? We'll find out later episodes. I like that um, they, they got to have Usagi and Mamoru have some development together. They have some time to understand who they are. Not only do they find their identities, but I like that the scouts, you know, tried their best to take down Zephyr, but he was too strong because he was one of the strongest commanders in the manga, from what I heard. 
And it was nice to see that Queen Burrow actually came down to Earth. We didn't see her sitting in her dark chair using her witch-like claws to to take a look into the crystal ball. I like that she made an appearance. And her design is really good. But it was good to see Sailor Moon again once again. Rise up from being a cryberry to kick some ass. Send Zephyr packing and sending Queen Burrow back to the Negaverse where everything goes back to normal. But back to the whole point. Could they fall in love? Hmm. Well, it's based on the manga, so I think people would say yes. Maybe there's some more development. Maybe they fall in love later. We don't know. The action was very good. I had the idea of using the... I like how the Cezo mask up, kind of appeared as kind of an anti-villain. I know he's not a villain at heart, but I like the idea that he started to do this whole public uh, Dark Knight-esque, you know, I commit these crimes, I want the Batman kind of thing. I like how they went with this dark... Approach to the episode. I like giving it all these crimes that he wanted to, you know, prove that I'm looking for the crystal. There's a legendary crystal, crystal moon, and that sent people in panic. That reminded me of the Dark Knight a little bit, and I thought they, they started out strong with that. Um, was there anything bad? No. Again, this is a very good episode. I can't wait to see what we can learn more about the Sailor Mask. Hope we get to see Sailor V or Sailor Venus, and the same thing. And hopefully, the other characters of the franchise come to life and see them kick. And save the day. Kick some ass and save the day. I like that they actually used the whole radio signal as kind of a control for the whole city to be in a, a rampant panic looking for the crystal moon, even though they don't know exactly where it is. I kind of find that funny that that that, that Zephyr would actually control these people and say, "Oh yeah, go look for the crystal moon," but then you realize when you're watching, dude, don't you know where it is? But then again, that's the whole point of the story. It's not padding. It's a way to get the story across. And I really thought the Sailor Scouts would beat Zephyr. I mean, I mean, I know he's one of the strongest. When I, like I guess again, when I read up on the internet, so he's one of the strongest. Like out of Zephyr, you know, Malachi, Jedi, all those guys. I heard he was one of the strongest. But he really did pack a punch against the other three. But it took Sailor Moon and the power of the of the magic crystal wand to send him packing, and it killed him. This dude just blew up, and that was interesting. I thought he'd put, like, do into a puff of dark smoke like in the original series, but no. This dude gets fried, and that was interesting. I hope he doesn't come back. Because then again, that'd be funny if he came back. It's like, it would be wrong. I give this a 5 out of 5. Great episode for episode 6 of Center Moon Crystal. Thank you guys for joining me for Anime Chat with J5. J5 sign off. See you guys later, and power on.